Hi, it's Paul from Derivan, and I want to introduce you to a new product called Liquid Pencil. It's an innovative new product that allows you to create authentic graphite effects in pencil and pencil sketches using a liquid. It's available in these six colours here. We've got grey 3, grey 9, sepia, yellow, red and blue. It's also available in two ranges. There's a permanent range and a rewettable range. So we're just going to go over very briefly what we can and can't do with that. And to start, I'd like to show you about a transfer technique. So we can use, this is just a panel of the rewettable, and this time we're using graphite 9, and we're, I'm going to show you how to make a transfer. So we've just got a plain piece of paper. We've got our graphite already laid down. We place that face down. We choose an image that we want to transfer and just grab a pen and trace that image. Now I'm just doing this loosely just to give you an idea of what we can do. So if you're wanting to transfer a complex or complicated image this is a perfect tool to allow you to do this. Okay, so again, just recapping, we've got our image here. The next layer, we've got our graphite face down, and then we've got our transferred image ready for you to color, add to, or redraw. So, the next thing I want to show you is how to lay down a wash. Now, we're going to just talk briefly about two types of washes. We've got a graded wash and a plain wash. So, over here, I'm just picking up a bit of blue this time. So, if we start with the wash here, if we want to make this a graded wash, now graded just means that it's fading from one end to the other. We just add a little bit of water as we go. So as we add that water, we drag it down. And for those watercolourists amongst you, you'll notice that we've actually got more time to move with this. So it is a little bit more forgiving and will allow you to play with it a little more. If we want to do a wash that's a solid wash or a flat wash, we simply, again, lay it down in blocks. Try and keep that bead of colour there and drag that bead along. By doing that, you'll avoid the lines that can sometimes be created. And again, unlike conventional watercolour, we can push this around until we get a solid block. So that'll give you a more even wash if that's what you're after. Or we can go back to the graded wash. So now the other thing we can use to apply it is a nib. So I've just got a post office box nib here and I'm just dipping it into the liquid pencil and you'll note that we can give ourselves, just and drop a little bit of that off, a little, a fine line. So I don't know whether, you, can we pick that up? So beautiful for doing some sketches and there's a sketch I've completed earlier which we'll have a look at later um, in this method. So what it does is give you a nib type line in graphite before unachievable. And also being the rewettable, we're able to rub it out or we're able to add to it. Also good for cross-hatching shading. And it tends, by the very nature of it, to be a little bit cleaner than traditional lead pencil, where if we rub over it, we tend to get a little bit grubby. We, this, by the very nature of the product, allows us to be a little bit more cleaner in the process, but still end up with a pure graphite drawing. It's really quite nifty. Now, I just want to go back to our washes here. So if we have a look here, what we've created from top to bottom is a solid wash of the colour and then finally grading it out. Now these bottom squares are solid squares which we've then, so similar to the wash, solid wash that we created earlier, we've then laid some cling wrap into these top ones and some bubble wrap into the bottom ones. We've allowed that to dry fully and then peeled it off and it's given us these effects. So the limits of this is only limited by your imagination of what you put it into. Now, the other nice thing about the rewettables is that if we have 
a burnishing tool, we're actually able to draw back into these. So if we draw back into these, they'll actually create a nice silvery line onto the image. So you can gently play with areas of it. The other neat thing you can do is if you have a torsion or a pencil, a uh, paper stub, what you can do is wet that and you're able to push that around. So can you see how that's moving the pigment? So we're actually able to push the pigment through using that paper stump. Now the other thing we can do is get an eraser and just take out the line. So if we have a look at this solid area through here, what we can do is eliminate that. So can you see how that's taken it off? So, and again, through here. So with the rewettable, we're able to move those objects and move those bits around. Now the other thing is, if we wanted then to come back and create a wash through there, we simply pick up that and join it through. So can we see how that's picking up that pigment and joining it back across? Now obviously, if you wanted to lay down these washes or these patterns in, in a permanent manner and didn't want it to be moving, then you would use the permanent colours, which again, come in exactly the same range. But if you'd done that, we wouldn't be able to do any of that drawing or rubbing out or moving. So both are used in conjunction with each other in a manner that we can create a completed composition. I hope you enjoy playing around with it and just give it a go and have a bit of an experiment. Thank you.